Hey guys, and we're back with part five of Shoshone Empires. So uh, I actually, uh, the, the audio for this got corrupted and it's been down for a little while, but so I've gone ahead and gone back over and recommentated it um, after, as I was playing the video and I hope you enjoy. Okay. All right, guys. So we're back with episode five of Shoshone Empires. So this is Deity on a huge nap. So we'll go ahead and move this, our scout down. Um, oh, cool. Found a new city-state. Let's get oriented again here. See what we're working with. All right, we got an archer coming out here. Uh, we're we're trying to slip our risky settler up here to settler. Uh, it'll be interesting, but I think we can get in without the barbarians getting us. Yeah, should work fine. Uh, and then we'll... Yeah, we're going to have to slip around here. This will be interesting. All right. So probably not worth heading through that way, so we'll send our settler around the other way. Yeah. Archer will come around here and aim for the city-state here. Um, and we'll keep our Pathfinder exploring. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, I guess we can't get that. Oh, actually we can. <laughs> we totally stole that from them. Cool. <laughs> Alrighty. That works out. So we'll keep scouting around looking for any more encampments. And, uh, oh, more, more happiness just came through. Let's see if anyone else is up for duplicate luxury trades here. Doesn't look like it. Oh, actually, there's salt. There we go. Just what we needed. Uh, so we'll go ahead and trade them in early silk since we're about to get that. So let's go ahead and lock that down ahead of time there. Hmm. Guess we'll head back up to follow our settler here. Slip back out. Okay. And then this guy. Let's see what should we do next. Probably hook up the deer. And yeah, we can chop this forest. Get a little bit of more production for Adetica. <laughs> I'm kind of scared to take a look at the religion menu because I'm afraid there's going to be no follower beliefs yet for our love for our religion. Uh, I really like religious community, but Oh, wait. Okay, cool. We found the last person. There we go. So we've, we've now got full trading options with the other whole world now. Yeah, I'm afraid to check the religious menu because I'm afraid with all of our, our uh, efforts, we're still going to get a terrible following follower belief because the deity yeah, are just so good, have been so good at making their religions. Let's see. What do we need? Um... Yeah, we could maybe do a circus for some extra happiness. That could work out. We also could use a watermill and a temple. Yeah, we got lots of sources of happiness left. Yeah, we need some workers first, though. Um, and then we can save the spots nearer to us to backfill as we settle a bit. But I think two more workers for the capital is, is kind of what we need right now, so that's good. Let's get these things connected as quickly as possible. Uh, let's get our city connected. Boom. And we can actually bombard that encampment right away. There we go. Potentially marble if we can expand quick enough. Yep, that's a pretty good city spot. Yeah, I gotta get back out of here. And the Persians got a lot of troops around there. Hmm. Yeah, so the workers that are coming will hook up the rest of the stuff remaining around the capital. We got some nice gold right now as well. We could maybe buy something. But I can't really think of anything we particularly need right now, so I guess we'll just hold on to it. Uh, let's continue moving our settler around the back there. Um, hmm. Just keep exploring with him. All right. So what should we do now? Oh, actually, happiness from Reds is about to come through. So let's go ahead and build that. Get some city connections up. That'll be good. I think um, the city connection here would actually already pay for itself in gold because these are pretty good cities as well. So. Let's make sure we're maximizing growth here in the capital, as usual. You get some, uh, you can get some really good gold from city connections if you keep growing your capital, because that factors into the gold from every city connection. That guy's got his worker. That's good. All right, so let's start here um, with our standard monu monument opener there. Uh, let's get that constructed. Yeah, fast growth. We could grow right away, or we could kind of slow it down and try to get uh, religion to spread into it early, actually. Yeah, that might actually already flip already in. 
Okay, okay. We need to get this iron, new iron and horses hooked up. But yeah, actually, let's go ahead and grow up to two first. Our happiness is okay. Um, and we'll, that'll allow it to get a little bit extra production in that city. Uh, let's follow our settler with the pathfinder, just in case it has problems. Yep, keep patrolling the borders, see if there's any rogue encampments appearing. We don't want to get <laughs> problems like we had last episode. And I wasn't going to take Spain's spot down here, but I guess I will, because, cause, uh, yeah, and up here. I think we'll go for this one first, though. This will be a great spot on the hill. Mountain jungle city with citrus nearby. That's, yeah, that's beautiful. Two iron. Yeah, that's a great spot, actually. I think this is probably our our next good spot. Uh, unfortunately, that makes the buffalo up there unworkable, but maybe we can put another filler city in the middle here to, to pop that up, use that up. Yeah, up there would be good. Right here next to the mountain. That'd pick up that iron as well. Then we could put our other one up there on the coast. Yeah, but first of all, let's just get on here. That's definitely our best spot. So we'll send our spearmen as an escort for that. Um, yeah, hopefully soon. We'll have another source of faith, and then we'll see what we get to enhance. Hopefully something good. If we might get lucky, we might get... Um, we might get religious community. It's kind of random whether or not they'll pick that, but cross your fingers for that. That's the one I really want there. Yeah. All right. Is that spearman going to take my encampment? I don't want that to happen. Let's actually hold off bombarding. Maybe we can make him not do that. We'll see. 462 gold. Is there anything worth buying? If I'd realized it was going to happen, I could have built a library here and then bought the worker instead. But, oh well, this will work out too. Hmm. Yeah. Granaries aren't really needed yet. Um, we're trying to put all our happiness into expansion, not terribly good growth. I'd like to get my first cities up to pop two or three because that then they get productive quicker. But, uh, but you can do that without granaries, so... Yeah. Honestly, even li uh, as far as science, we're doing pretty well. Um, we don't have any more trade routes that we could send, and libraries are only at actually a little bit more with these little cities, unless we put them in our big ones. Um, and we got s slightly more important things to work about on now, settlers and workers for infrastructure. Let's move through here and see what we find. I uh, can't quite do it this turn. Oh, well, we'll anger them for one turn there. Okay, there we go. Um, we'll work on our second coastal city down here. Uh, although this one I realized is technically not coastal. It's just on this tiny little lake, which is unfortunate, but oh well. We could. There's no way to make a, a pass city either. Not, not close to being able to be a Panama Canal or something, but not quite. Got mathematics. Yeah, he took the encampment. Bummer. Oh well, at least it's gone. All right, I guess we'll move back. Um, or actually, let's patrol the borders a bit. There you go. That city is not threatened at the moment, so that'll work out fine. Um, and then I think settling right here on this hill is the way to go. That seems like the perfect spot there, next to our second natural wonder. So that'll be good. Pick up some extra faith. Um, yeah, let's. We can clear out some more forests now. Start clearing off those riverside tiles to make them more useful in the long run. Uh, let's slip through here. Let's see if we can't see more of the terrain. I think heading north is probably our best bet. We'll meet new people. Oh, there's the last guy, actually. It wasn't Theodore. Yep, let's get that embassy. Cool. So that tells us kind of the general directions we should ex we still have left to explore. All right, here's our... Let's see if anyone else has luxuries again. This is definitely going to be a little repetitive, me checking this all the time, but we really need to lock down luxuries as soon as quickly as soon as possible before the uh, AI lock them down. And uh, even if I have to give away a one of myself, as long as I know I'll get a second source of it, it'll be worth locking down. Actually, we're let's check how many techs Spain is ahead. Seven, and we got three. Eh, actually, we're not doing that bad on science. I've seen worse on deity. So she probably went uh, top of the tree, and we've focused more on the bottom, so that works out. All right, next turn. Soon we're going to have a bunch of workers coming through. That'll be great. Um, we should have the gold to support that. 
we'll get our roads up, we'll fill in the territory, and everything will be, will be pretty awesome. Yeah, things are going well. <laughs> Single poor wants the black death. We'll send some rats to you, buddy. <laughs> yes, I I did name that just so that I could make that do joke. <laughs> you gotta make the game fun for yourself. Let's fortify, get some health, and get this settlement. Awesome! Finally got that second one. Didn't really pick up any useful tiles. <laughs> I don't. It's a stupid city should have gone for the fish or something. Oh well. Clear the camp, so that's good. I, oh wait, does that count as the quest? Hope so. Oh, dang it. Actually, since we've already founded our religion, we don't have a pantheon, so we're not going to get the faith here. Hopefully it spreads there soon, but I don't know if that range is far enough. We'll see. We're going to have to fill in some more cities to make that spread a little bit more effectively, I guess. All right. Hasn't quite spread here yet. Uh, yeah, let's bring in some more gold and slow down the growth. Yeah, let's slow down the growth until this city flips. We really need um, our religion to start snowballing through the empire, so that'll be good. Hmm, what should we focus on next? Let's get the shrine. We don't really need any growth buildings. We're trying to grow slowly so our religion spreads and we can keep expanding, so that'll, that'll work good. Um, let's just keep bombarding, I guess, there. Let's... Let's check out the site of our future settler there. Just make sure everything's secure. Um, and we'll keep exploring with our pathfinders. Oh, it looks like uh, Persia and Indonesia are actually at war. Actually, you know, if we slow down this city, um, we may might, we might could have had this city flip to our religion right away. That would have been good. I think religion spreads maybe every, like, 20 turns, judging from what I've seen. I'm not really sure the exact numbers, though, but we might be on the cusp of another spread with this one. But we're running low on happiness, so that'll help anyway, slowing down the growth a little bit while we move our next settler into position. This city doesn't really have anything good to work. Um, uh, yeah, sheep would be nice, but we'd have to buy them to get there. Hmm... At the moment, it's a lot of money. It's probably worth it, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I think I'm just going to get... Let's get some good production here. That'll help this city get on on time. And we'll actually grow a little bit. That'll be good. So we'll get the, all that quicker there. Hold up one second. We cleared this encampment, but we didn't get the quest yet. Oh, did we mess up? I thought any way of clearing counted, but... Okay, maybe the quest just haven't come through yet. All right, hopefully we get that. I actually haven't tested that, but I assumed clearing it by borders counted. Um, I mean, we did technically clear it ourselves. Let's see, which side of the river should we be on? Yeah, invasions might come from that side, so let's build our roads along the back side here. Better defensive line in case someone comes in through the forest here. There's no, no real good spots for cities over there in the forest anyway, so. So yeah, that's probably the most efficient route. Let's chop some more forest. Looking good. Got our comp another composite bowman to go help out. Um, move in for the kill on that encampment that we need help with. All right, come on, religion. <laughs> Just spread to one more city. You're almost there. Hmm. Yeah, these are long roads. We really spread our cities out. I, I tend to do that a little bit with the Shoshone because they you can have the spacing of tradition cities just because their their initial borders are just so good. It's one of the good strengths of playing with them. You can really make terrain work out for you. Oh, Venice got the Great Lighthouse. Oh, and someone else got a Reformation Belief. Hmm. Oh, there we go. We got the Encampment Cleared Quest, so that worked out. Double friends. It does count. All right, let's keep uh, bombarding the, these guys, try to clear them out. Hmm, what next? Oh, they moved on to the spot we're working. Hmm, I guess we can work the iron in the, in, in the meantime. I guess we're going to not be able to stop them from growing. 
Oh well, we'll just have to wait for it to convert at pop size two. Our lower city will eventually convert the three pop one because we've slowed down its growth, so it'll work. All right, let's start our roads. Um, let's move into position here. Well, eventually we'll get this encampment. It's taken forever. Um, all right, what should we do with this guy? Let's just keep scouting the way. Um, and then we'll, yep, just keep exploring the terrain. We're just looking for encampments to shut down. Kill time, level our troops. We got some friends now that brought in some good happiness here. They want Coco. What do we need to be allies here? These are both mercantiles, so they'd be great allies here in the beginning. Barbarian. Oh, these guys, they're invading their territory. Actually, we might be able to pull that off. Get a little bit more influence. Uh, not quite. If we stay here, maybe he'll attack us instead of the city, and then we can finish him off. That, that'll work out. Okay. Let's move on to the next turn. It'd be nice to trade with Vanish by using a coastal city up here. They usually have some pretty good gold output. Um, but I think I think Spain has given us good stuff. Yeah. I think the trade routes are part of the reason why we became friends with Spain so quickly anyway. And they're arguably the more threatening neighbor at the moment. So just keep it up. Yep. Looks like he took the bait. Uh, let's finish him off with the Pathfinder. A little bit of experience for him. There you go. Spain has failed to colonize this spot. I guess they're just going to give it to it, us to it, and they're happy with their two cities. That's weird. You should really settle more than that on a huge map, Spain, but to each his own. All right, whatever. Keep weakening the encampment slowly. Eventually we'll get it. It's just taking some time. Yeah. I'll put some good levels on our... Yeah. It's a shame Yervan isn't still around. We'd probably friend them by taking out that encampment. Let's make sure we're working that good. All right, let's check luxuries again. Hmm. One of the issues of not holding on to any duplicate luxuries is they won't call you up when they have one. Oh, here's one. So you got to just keep checking yourself. That works, actually. Let's give them a truffle because we're going to get more of those soon. So let's just lock that down. Finally got two sources of foreign luxuries. I was worried we, they would have just all traded with each other and we wouldn't get any, but uh, worked out. Barbarians almost, almost lost me some of those early trades, though. All right, let's have this other worker help out with the road. And this heavy forester has been really amazing for early chopping hammers. It's It's been great. And the space they gave us is pretty cool, too. Look at all this area that we're getting to settle. This is going to be a great game for the huge empire idea that we had. All right, let's head back. We'll walk T grew here. Yeah, we should probably lock it at two until it converts, though. All right, let's go ahead and weaken the warrior. Hmm. Almost got the encampment. We'll get it eventually. At least we're putting some good experience. Um, happiness, if we need it, now can come from temples. If we can start our religion rolling through the empire. Uh, it's about time to start growing as soon as we get that religion. It'll flip out the next followers. So, that, so let's just wait a little bit, and we should get that. And then I'll start to trickle through the rest of our empire here. Let's see. We're riddled. Man, we're running out of things to do in the meantime, waiting to grow. I guess we can start in the granary. We'll probably be flipped by the time we get that, and then it'll, and then it'll stay our religion, so that'll work out. And then we'll switch to aqueducts. Um, so yeah, for for now, that's the plan. We're gonna grow them slow till our religion gets started, um, and then once it starts spreading through the empire, then we'll we'll build our aqueducts and our growth buildings and start growing them up a little bit taller as we can. Um, but we do want to have the happiness to continue to expand as we've been doing. Uh, but we do we have to develop some good core cities as well. Got to keep that in mind if we want to stay competitive. All right, back to roads. Let's keep building them. I guess this guy can build a road as well. Start connecting these good cities here. Looks like this spot is securely ours. Perfect. Beautiful spot. That's probably going to make Spain a little bit annoyed, but uh, oh well. As soon as you lose Spain. All right, what are we going to do here? Yeah, definitely get that monument in first. Let's check the terrain. 
Fast growth. Yeah. That's too far away to spread my religion anyway to it, so at the moment. So let's go ahead and take advantage of that high growth to get a quick second pop that'll make that city quite a bit better in the meantime. We might be keep it at two or three. It's a, it's a beautiful city too. Look at all that jungle. We're gonna have great science from that city from universities. Wonderful. Hmm. Why would you want that? You're on the other side of the world, buddy. <laughs> She give me two, maybe. I guess. Whatever. Oh. Oh, okay. Interesting. I got a lot of friends. Oh, okay. It's a coalition. Okay. We expect that this might happen. We got some early troops, so we gotta just mobilize. They declared with several friends near me. Um I guess my call of sending traders to Spain was the way to go, because uh they would have been destroyed if I'd sent them to Venice. Let's see if Sejong will come in on our side, put some pressure on the Mongols. Yeah, that'll be good to give them another distraction, I think. All right. You don't hate him yet? That's interesting. All right, I guess we're on our own. Uh, let's talk to Spain first. Maybe Spain's our friend. Hmm. I'm guessing the only person we need to worry about is um Mongols. But they're a little far away, so it'll take some time for their troops to show up. We could maybe liberate Valila if we could but I don't know that we have the troops for that yet. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this, this encampment cleared out so we can focus our troops. Um worst comes to worse, we could buy some walls here. Um I don't see any Venetian troops yet. I'm guessing uh, based on the way relations were that actually Venice got bribed in as a secondary partner in the war, so he may not even send very many troops, but we're going to have to see. Just to be on the safe side, let's get our troops up here as quickly as possible. Um, it's a shame we don't quite have our roads yet, but uh, yeah, we'll get it up there as quick as we can. Uh, let's hope that Spain doesn't backstab us. I don't think at the moment we can keep enough defenses on this border. Oh yeah, okay, so that's why people are unhappy with us. So we now have the reckless expander modifier, so because we we've expanded faster than our surrounding AI. Yeah, she's not willing to enter either. Either. Hmm. You know, even if we win the war, taking a city would just make them more angry at us. It might actually be better to just kind of hold hold the line at a defensive war. Um, let's see. Let's do optics, and then uh, we'll go civil service and education. Optics is just because I'd like to get some uh, lighthouses to be able to work those fish resources on our two new uh, coastal cities. Let's keep exploring up here in the meantime. Let's see. Let's hike up for our last few resources up here. Get that deer, get that silk. Um, actually, we should get the silk first. Um, get that happiness, because our happiness is getting low. Um, guess we'll continue our roads. Be a nice way to pump troops, qu troops quickly to the border. We're not too badly prepared for war. Um, the terrain's pretty good in our favor, actually, on that side that they'll be attacking on. Agatica actually is a beautiful defensive city. We just gotta get the, the troops over there. Um, okay. Hmm. Let's actually promise that we won't. Uh, I I don't want to risk her backstabbing us as well. And that's actually the last city I'm going to settle down that direction. So actually, I think we can keep that promise and still expand and fill in the back of our empire. So that should work out. Yeah. And for also wants the Black Death. Alrighty. I'll send some diseases your way. All right, last guy here. Boom. It's the first Mongol troop I see over there on that hill. We've got to get our guys over there quickly. Got to defend the line. Okay. Yep, keep sending these guys up as quickly as we can here. Let's get that last treples back. Getting that happiness back will be good. Oh, cool. Two monks finished their stuff. Ooh, aqueducts are available. Let's get that in. I definitely want two on our capital to be growing, growing high, uh, but we got to get our happiness back as well. Hmm. I think we'll work the extra gold. 
No, actually, let's keep going. Yeah. That'll, that'll work out. Let's get an aqueduct secondary lead here. We can't, like, grow right now, but we will be able to soon when we get our ha new happiness sources in. So let's build aqueducts just kind of in prep of that to me. We need to decide if we're going to build walls, buy walls, and where we need to produce extra composites. I think we actually do need a few more, even though we got good defensive terrain. Because the ADII, they'll probably send a pretty sizable army, Mongols will. we got to prepare for that. Let's see what we're doing here on Gosha City. We grew pretty well. Um, so this isn't too far away, so religion should eventually spread here. Hmm. Let's do library and aqueducts, actually. I'm thinking, um, or, yeah, actually, let's, maybe we'll start aqueduct first and then granary after that. Yeah, I'm not going to fuss with libraries. Um, at this moment, with my low-pop cities, it's, I think our science is fine, to be honest. Let's focus on setting up growth. It's, it's interesting that my friends will join the war, um, that either means Genghis has a big military, or they just aren't really my friends. <laughs> um, Venomous has has not sent much of a military, so maybe we're right about the Mongols having brought them in with a bribe, and we won't have much of a affront with the Venet nations. But that'll be good because the Mongols are farther away, and we'll have more time to respond with military. Yeah, when I first saw the announcement, I thought I might have some problems, but I think if we hurry this up, we'll we'll be able to do it. This should work out fine. Awesome, got another trade route as well. Uh, optimally played would be to produce another one immediately because that'd be good science here. Better than libraries or anything. Hmm, yeah, lots of Spain routes available. We could probably send another one to get some extra science here. Another four would be nice. She's eight ahead now. Nice. <whistles> All right. Yeah. Let's see. We could buy our trade routes to get that science immediately. It'd be slow otherwise. Okay, I, I'm thinking he's probably going to go for a Gaetica. That's actually to our benefit because that's a really hard city to assault. Um, let's see. We can move this guy back behind the line. We can take some pot shots from behind the river. Soon we'll have a road up to move our troops in. Let's move back to the city actually. Uh, that'll be our, our garrison defender there. Um, I still would like to buy another trade route to accelerate our science, but I'm wondering if I should save the science for the gold for the wall. I mean, uh, I guess we'll wait a couple more turns. If they assault our northern city, we'll need to buy walls. If they assault the Gatica, we'll be fine. So let me just hold on to it for a sec and see. Um, what are we doing? Granary? Actually, we might trade that to walls here, because this, I think, could actually build walls by the time the Mongol attack would uh, arrive, if we accelerate that a little bit. Let's see how much we can get extra production on that. 12's not bad. What if we move that to the hill? 9, actually. Actually, that might actually be in time for their... when the when their evasion force arrives. Taking a walled hill city with river protections and... Um, a mountain blocking one of these approach angles that actually could be pretty good I don't really want to starve right now so maybe we'll just leave it at 12 hmm okay I'm gonna do a bit of a gamble we're gonna go ahead and buy the trade route yeah and just count on us being able to handle it on our own uh, I want that quick science we can't we can't let this war slow down our science we gotta get those up and that'll be extra gold too so that'll be good all right let's finish our, our roads here almost got this done Almost got the road. Uh, let's get keep getting our troops up. We want the rest of our archers. Oh, and we need the gold to upgrade those archers. Got to remember that as well. Okay, they're on their way. Let's get another Celsius silks up for trading. Let's see. Yeah, let's buy that up for them. There we go. So that'll be good. Oh, we got uh, population growth here. Where are we going to work? Yeah, looks good. I agree, city. <laughs> Let's finish that road there. Oh, oops. Uh, did we forget to build a road there? I guess we did. Somehow I messed that up. Hmm. No Venice troops yet. 
Uh, they're probably just taking the money and running. That's just good for us. Yeah. They must have not hated us that much, I guess. So. Hmm. So, yeah, we got more barbs. Where are they invading? Oh, actually, that's Mongolian. Hmm. I didn't realize they had a spearman scout down here. Uh, we can deal with that, though. There's no way he can take the city, and we'll just keep pot shutting him. Uh, we got to get this worker out of stealing range, though. Unfortunately, that's going to slow down our silver acquisition, which is annoying, but oh well. Oh, actually, here's the first troops. As usual, he's just um, trickling in from all the terrible angles, so it sh should be easy to destroy those initial troops. If you're going to take a strong city like a Gaetica, you really need to have like a convergence from multiple angles, but the AI is never sh smart enough to figure that out, so... <clears throat> yeah... Hmm. Chariot archers. Those are old. Mongols, I guess, have exploring troops everywhere. Interesting. I think Mongols are definitely the instigator, which means we can probably inst resist the push just because he's so far away. Like, the lag time in him traveling is going to give us time to prepare. So this should work out fine. Let's send another city to... Oh, yeah, Madrid. That's juicy. That's the good stuff right there. Extra gold, up to 52 science. He's going to go for our workers, so we need to retreat back into the jungle here. Yeah, we're going to have to just run, I guess. Unfortunate. Uh, but we'll get there eventually. Let's get this road network up. Oh, <laughs> Venice sent one warrior. Good job, Venice. Great pressure. If he sends a lot, that city could be vulnerable. I was kind of banking on him not coming, because we don't... Wait, Sejong just... What? I would have paid you for that, you dummy. Oh, well. Thanks for the help, buddy. <laughs> yeah. If he moves a bunch of warriors, uh, we'll probably be in trouble. But as it stands now, this little halfway effort is not going to hurt us much. So, He fortified. Seriously. I guess you're just getting experience. Oh, well. To each his own. I guess we'll flee back farther here. Yeah, let's head up this way. <laughs> Play a little bit of a ring around the rosy here with the with the spearman. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, this is what I'm I was worried about. All right, uh, but he's having to trickle around this this hilled forest area and around our mountain. So I think our troop our backup support will show up in time. Let's go ahead and chop that. Let's try to get that second silk in. Bring in some extra happiness because we're running low. Um, let's see, can we reach him yet? Nope. Darn mountains in the way. I think we're in a good position, though. We, the hill should save us from pathetic little troops like that. Um, and then eventually we'll get that wall. I wasn't willing to starve to build it in nine, but we might. If, if he really appears with a big force here, we might have to do that. We'll just have to see. I think our archers will hold off this force push, though. Hmm. What should we build? Yeah, I think that's too far to spread to the religion. Oh, this just got a religion. That should have flipped. That's half. Hmm. I guess we're gonna have to slow this one down if we want, if we don't want it to expand again. Let's see. What can we do here? Seven. Hmm. Maybe we'll get the flip there. I really need to get the religion started there or somewhere if we're gonna if it's gonna start spreading through our empire. All right. It'll, it'll probably flip in Agatica before anywhere else, and then hopefully that'll be enough pressure to to push that through. Yeah, actually, it won't expand here. Let's go ahead and get growing up to three there. Um, hmm, what should we get here? What do we want? Linehouse would be good growth. Uh, we don't have the happiness for that yet, unfortunately. Um, and religion's probably not going to spread here. I guess we'll get started on our aqueducts, like all our cities. After turn 100 and we bring in the extra happiness sources and can actually grow, we're going to do some quick speed growing with our aqueducts. Um, but for now, since they're staying low, I think building aqueducts and libraries is the way to go. Since we're still expanding quickly, we're not going to be able to build the National College for a while, so actually getting a library in the two pop cities, is, I don't even think it's worth it. That's like one gold for one science. It's a bad trade. Um, but yeah, almost got these road networks finished, or getting close at least. Got that road finished. 
All right, look. I <laughs> totally messed that up. I don't know how that happened. We skipped that spot farther back. But we'll we'll chop that. That'll that'll get that wall through quicker. So that. So, oh, what is that? That doesn't have a banner. Hmm. But yeah, they're they're definitely converging. I think on Agatica, and that's great because that has like almost three times the defensibility as the upper city. But I guess just because it's closer to them, that's become their default target. Yeah, AI are dumb like that. We can probably break his entire attack on that city if I get my wall set up a defensive line behind the river. Oh, wait. We got an invasion? Huh. Interesting. I, You haven't attacked anyone. I feel like he probably will. He's a bit of a warmonger, but for now, I guess we'll just make friends with him. Good to have strong friends. Bring him into the friendship block. Ah, oh, someone's ridiculously ahead if they're already, already building stuff like that on turn 89. Alright. Okay, troops are still heading up. Finish that up, get some happiness back. Awesome, now we're out of the... out of the... off zero. <laughs> Four. Uh, let's get that iron hooked up. Be good to get some iron resources for melee. I'll just move back and fill in that road. I guess we'll just we'll just keep firing at the the warrior. He's just gonna sit there on our border. Uh, I guess we'll slip back with our worker. Yeah, he's let us go, so that works out. Keep exploring, and there we go. Let's slip around here. Okay, um, let's finish the red network. So that's our first city connection. Uh, get that archer up there. We gotta get these defensive lines back up as quickly as possible because this is looking uh, intimidating. He's got a big force coming in. Let's get that chopped. That is that is high priority getting that chopped. Um, we might just have bought the wall, but I think we'll be okay. Cross my fingers. I think I think we'll be okay. Hmm, they got some good defensives in the forest, but we got to get started somewhere. So let's let's uh, put a little bit of a dent in him. Yeah. Put a little... Okay. He might capture my worker, but I think we got enough power that we should be able to finish him off if he does that. So that, that work, we could actually use that worker as bait. That might be a great trap to take out that swordsman, actually. Won't even waste a worker turn. Alright, let's get up here. Might see if we can find, like, a city-state or anything else of use. Alright, let's bring our spearman in. He'll be a walling melee unit. Uh, we'll kind of set him up in a vulnerable position behind a river. He might be a tad late, though. Let's see. Uh, is there any way? No, I don't Walls are coming. I'm not, and I'm still not willing to starve. I don't think we might could. Hmm. Uh. Okay. I'm. I. I'm just gonna set it. Actually. <whistles> Good damage there. I think we'll. We'll. This will work out though. Um. I. I noticed he doesn't. This is his first push. Doesn't have sustain. You notice like he doesn't have more troops coming in solid behind that. So this. This is actually the. The final carpet. If we break this, um, it'll take a bit. Of, we'll have like a bit of a breather, and then our our city will heal back up. So that should work out. Wait, why are we up to thirteen? No. Guess we'll finish off the swordsman. He let our worker be alone. There we go. Back to nine. Uh, we lost the turn though. Hmm. Actually, that's a little more stressful than I thought. Oh come on, Byzantines. Get out of my way. Uh, maybe we should get open borders from them. I don't know. Let's, let's just heal up for now. Hopefully she moves. Uh, what do we do for this guy now? I guess we could continue our roads, maybe. Oh, good. Got our second composite there. Awesome. Good thing I sent these archers immediately. Like, his uh, invasion arrived a little quicker than I thought it would, actually. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and finish off this. We should be able to break them, um, this first assault here, pretty easily, I think. Huh, where did his spearman go? He could be hiding to steal my worker. I'm not willing to risk it. Let's let's give it a few more turns. Because um, I don't have a troop to restore that worker at the moment. Barb campment. Let's see. Hmm. Actually, it's looking like this video is about over. Um, so let's go ahead and finish up this turn, and then we'll we'll go ahead and call it a day. Uh, but yeah, some exciting stuff has started to to be developed here. <laughs> Oh, uh, yep. Okay. Chop that. Get some extra production around. Uh, let's get that mine. Oh, and when it says that you'll lose your improvement, it, 
that you don't. You don't need to lose camps from chopping forest that's lying. Got a nice thing going. Um, actually, I think our troops are going to arrive just in time. So this is perfect. Okay. I think our city will be okay. But you'll have to see next time for more Shoshone adventures. Hope you guys enjoyed.